have there have been times in your own life of faith where you've uh, had doubts about the truthfulness of Christianity? And, and also, if so or if not, what, what, what do you recommend people who are struggling uh, with the truth of Christianity, maybe they're, they're doubting their faith, what, what ought they to, to do uh, with that? Well, I, only, I believe these arguments are only probabilistic. That is to say, they can show that probably there is a God and probably he became incarnate in Christ. I don't think they establish certainty. So, uh, inevitably, uh, <laughs> one, one has doubts. Uh, am I right? Uh, maybe it's the other way. Uh, but in life, uh, one has to go on probabilities. Um, uh, if you send a rocket to the moon, it's probable the theory is true, it's probable you've done your right calculations uh, and so on, but maybe you haven't, maybe the rock, rocket will crash. Everything we do depends on probabilities. Uh, so religion's not peculiar in that way. And so, yes, sometimes I have doubts. I don't know if they're deep or serious doubts, but certainly I have doubts. And in fact, I look for them. Uh, that is to say, as a professional, I look for mistakes in my argument. I don't expect other people necessarily to do that, but uh, uh, certainly if I, I see, see a problem, I will note it down for further thinking subsequently. Um, but your question, you know, the second part of your question, concerned, uh, uh, I suppose people aren't overwhelmed by these arguments. Uh, what ought they to do? Well, I think there's rather a difference, which isn't always appreciated by religious believers, between believing that something is the case and believing in something. Um, there's a difference between believing that there is a God and believing in God. Believing that there is a God is just believing a certain state of affairs to be the case. Uh, some person who had no wish to be religious might believe there is a God and do nothing about it. Uh, and it's the same sort of belief as believing that the universe is um, uh, 10 billion years old. Uh, but uh, religion is not a matter of the, just of that sort of belief, belief or necessarily of that sort of belief. It's a matter of believing in. Now, what's the difference? Well, uh, believing in means trusting, relying on God. And so you can rely on something, even if, uh, which is something you do, something that directs your actions, something you rely on something if you assume it's true and let yourself be guided by it. And you can rely on the, the Christian religion if you uh, decide to let your life be guided by it and by what it teaches you. And that is not unreasonably described as relying on God. Um, now, why would that be a sensible thing to do, even if you didn't believe that, that there is a God? Well, it would be a foolish thing to do if you are pretty certain there wasn't a God. But if you are doubtful, if you are in the middle, uh, you, you might reflect uh, that, uh, well, um, if the Christian religion is true, then the most worthwhile uh, way to live is the Christian way. Um, but if it's false, then uh, there isn't any greatly worthwhile way to live. So if you want to make the best of your life, it, it's worth taking a risk. And um, that applies more generally. Uh, we often have to trust in things that we are, have some doubt about uh, whether they, they will be the case. And sometimes when we think probably they are not the case, I mean, just take a different sort of example. Uh, suppose you're trapped in an enemy country in time of war. Um, you want to get out of the country. The only way to get out of the country is to approach some citizen of the country and ask them to help you. But of course, for any citizen of the country, it's probable they won't help you. Nevertheless, it's sensible to approach the least, un, uh, the one who looks the least hostile and say, will you help me? Uh, you can only achieve your goal if you trust that person. And uh, you can only achieve the goal if you're in that rather doubtful situation of living the most worthwhile life. Um, if uh, by a certain argument you being, um, it does seem to you that this is a particularly worth, or would be a particularly worthwhile to life to live if there is a God. Um, as many atheists would admit that, um, that if 
There is a God, this is a very worthwhile life to live and better than any life I could live anyway. Uh, it's worth taking a, a chance. Uh, if, you re if it really matters to you that your life should be a good life. And when you say it would be a very worthwhile life to live, I take it you're not just thinking of the possibility of eternal life, but there's something worthwhile about living life now with a belief in God. Oh, yes, yes. I was thinking both about now and about thereafter. Uh, a life of worshipping uh, a creator, being grateful for existence, and expressing that gratitude in uh, helping other people to be aware of their dependence on God and uh, to be aware of uh, 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 and helping them in all sorts of material and mental ways, um, at making them the sort of person that God would think it worthwhile keeping alive for eternity and making yourself the sort of person that would be worthwhile keeping for eternity is, is a worth, enormously worthwhile thing to do.